The holidays can be stressful, but that doesn't mean making great comfort food has to be. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to make great holiday season comfort food fast, simple, and stress-free using puff pastry. Puff pastry, while seemingly difficult, is really at its core just a simple dough that has been laced with butter that when melted creates steam and that steam helps the dough rise in separate layers. This gives the dough flaky texture and a rich taste that works really well with so many great comfort foods. Today we'll cover how to make a few delicious comfort foods from pot pies to turnovers, but first, in order to make great comfort food, you need to know how to make a great puff pastry dough, and here's how. Okay, so now we've made a great puff pastry dough, so now it's time to use it. And one of my favorite uses for puff pastry is chicken pot pie.
doesn't always have to be hearty. Puff pastry is amazing in not only making dishes that look absolutely stunning, but are also incredibly light as well. And such is the case for our next dish. So without further ado, let's make savory holiday pinwheels. great festive holiday drinks. From eggnog to mulled cider, they bring a sense of occasion and they're very warm and inviting. And I want to take some of that and combine it to make an amazing dessert. Now I have a dish I think you guys are going to love. A warm mulled apple cider turnover.
are just a few examples of how to use puff pastry to up your holiday food game. Now there are many other uses for puff pastry, which I'll cover in another episode, but unfortunately, that's all I have time for today. So if you enjoyed this week's episode, please feel free to give that like button some love and subscribe. And if you found the video useful, please feel free to share it as it does help this channel grow immensely. Any comments, questions, or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section down below. I'd love to read them. Recipes, as always, are down in the description boxes. My name is Chef Matt with Kitchen Instruments, thanking you guys for stopping by, and I'll see you guys next time.